For me, there are really three things. Uh, I'm not sure I do all of these things, but I probably try to do them. Um, the first thing I'm not sure is something that you particularly try to do. I think it's just something that you are. And I think that the best strategists are interested in lots of things. Um, I, the, the people I've seen who are best are just genuinely interested in lots of stuff. And they can make themselves be interested in almost anything, I find. I mean, you find yourself working on categories that might not necessarily be particularly interesting, but the best strategists find ways into strategies and ways into ideas that make them fascinated by um, a particular subject. So um, I always uh, see strategists a bit like uh, magpies. I think they see shiny things everywhere and take them and use them in their strategies. And, and I, I guess I see myself a bit like that. Um, I don't think strategists are ever bored. I mean, I, 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 I've never met someone who I think is a brilliant planner or strategist who says, oh, oh, I'm bored or I've got nothing to do because there's always something to do. There's always something to read or something to look at or something to discover. There's somewhere to go. And I think all the best planners embrace as much of life as they possibly can. And I think a lot of that life is out of advertising or out of communications or outside of agencies. It's in culture and it's in the world and it's all but the stuff of life. Um, I think also um, planners and strategists who are really great um, embrace you know, kind of differences and similarities in life. They like the mundane stuff of life. They like understanding uh, people. They like listening to people. They love a good story. And I don't think that has to be a story that is about something wildly exotic or... Um, or incredible, but I just think they like human stories. They like understanding what people are like. I think they like understanding what unifies people, the type of things that, that bring them together. And I think they definitely like idiosyncrasies and weirdnesses. I mean, I, I think often planners see themselves as a, outsiders a bit, um, and I think uh, they appreciate, therefore, other people who may exhibit a slightly outsider tendencies too. Um, I think they are usually voracious readers and consumers, um, and so they'll read everything around a subject. It's not just about doing a bit of a Google search. They will be the people telling you that they've read uh, very kind of laterally associated ideas around a, a strategy or a brand, um, and they usually have read everything. Um, and I think they really are interested in people. Uh, I don't think that I know a good planner or strategist who is bored by listening to or watching people uh, or observing people. Um, when planners say, oh, I don't like going to groups or I don't like talking to people, I think, wow, you're probably not going to be brilliant then. Uh, so I don't think they use themselves as a target audience. Um, I think they really uh, think about people and are interested in people on every possible level. I think the second thing for me is that the best planners and strategists don't make it up. Um, you know, I think uh, brilliant strategists definitely have hunches, but they are usually determined to find ways to make sure that is uh, something that's genuine and that is substantiated or not. I never view planning or strategy as an isolated isolating thing. I don't think it is about uh, sitting in a room having grandiose, deeply intellectual thoughts. I actually don't think uh, planning is really intellectual on any level. Um, but I think it is about um, looking for evidence, for searching for ideas, finding more stimuli, talking to real people, asking real people what they think, not just having a thought in your head and going, OK, it's that. Um, I think it's always as well about nuances and refinements. You know, I never think strategy actually is a very pure thing. I think people run into problems when they think that they've come up with some wonderful strategy that can't be modified in any way and, and can't be changed because uh, that sort of takes you almost nowhere in most cases. You know, developing communications and ideas is a very... Um, sort of perilous and curvy road and you have to be adaptable you have to be able to bring new ideas and points of view in as you're going along it's not just about having a fixed point of view and that continuing forever 
Um, I also think that I've, I've never really loved um, planners and strategists who say, oh, well, I know what this, the answer to this. Uh, I've done this before, and it's just like that. And I've met tons of those. Uh, and I never really buy that, because I think brands are all different, and I think every time the context is different. So personally, I think the best um, planners think about every problem, every brand, every situation, every challenge in its own right and, and come at it in a way where they're really thinking about what they're trying to do rather than just taking an um, existing um, example and saying, OK, yeah, I'm going to uh, use that. It's gonna be, that's going to be the answer. Um, and then finally, I think that actually um, the best strategists and planners are really interested and get really interested in the nuts and bolts of how businesses work. Um, one of the first things I always think about is how does this business make money? What is it they actually do to make money and be profitable? And I think that um, sometimes people say things like, oh, well, you know, you don't want to get down into the weeds. My view is you have to really understand what's going on in the weeds. You have to understand how a company is working so that you can get to the point where you can get to ideas and strategies that can really help you do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, I think also really great planners and strategists spend time understanding stakeholders, internal politics, um, and how they can bring their ideas and strategies through a company. Because having a great idea or a great strategy is all very well and good, but if you don't bring anyone with you, then um, it's, it's kind of pointless. You're just left there on your own having, having a great strategy and no one else is buying into it. Um, Jim Carroll talks very eloquently about um, having to bring people with you, and I, I agree totally with him. So I think strategists have to be... Um, uh, very creative and thinking about how they get people to buy into their ideas and strategies. And I also think that as a strategist you have to acknowledge that you are never an island and there will be oh, tens, hundreds of people involved in that strategy and that idea coming to fruition. Um, and I guess finally, yeah, you do, I think you have to make sacrifices um, and you have to make decisions about what those sacrifices are going to be and what will materially impact a strategy or, and, or a creative idea and be very uh, determined, I guess, in that and, and open to things that might have to, you might have to lose along the way. Mm -hmm.